Welcome to Schools Challenge TV from that Hampstead shooting ground. Today we are at the British Grand Prix Double Trap with some of the top trap shooters in the world. Remember Double Trap? We did quite well in it at London 2012. Peter Wilson won a gold medal. He is here today but as a coach. We'll be looking at how you joined the GB shooting team later in the programme. First, let's join the action at the Championship from Nott Hampstead Shooting Ground in Hertfordshire. Nut Hampstead has two stands dedicated to today's competition. There are 40 competitors. They are just Whoa. shooting for first place and the top three are in line to be selected for the GB Commonwealth and Olympic teams. Some of the biggest names in the shooting world are here today. Peter Wilson is coaching James Dedman Whoa. all the way from Yorkshire, who is a past Schools Challenge regular. I'm actually here coaching a young man called James Dedman, 15 year old shooter who's new to the sport only uh, just three and a half months into it. Um, but of course it's not just the junior category, it's the ladies and the men's. They're going to shoot 150 targets in qualifying, that's five rounds of 30, uh, and then a final. And that final will be broken down to a semi-final and then a super final. Cool. And uh, who are the big names we're kind of expecting to see today? Big names? Well, Richard Folds has come out of retirement unexpectedly and uh, that's really exciting. So I'm looking forward to seeing how he gets on. And then you've got uh, Steve Scott, Whoa. Steve Walton, Tim Neal, Jake Keeling. Uh, Matthew French, uh, just to name but a few, and obviously a, a late surprise is Callum, uh, Callum Frazier, who is also going to the World Championships this year, which is in really only a couple of weeks. So uh, just to reiterate, the team for that is uh, Steve Scott, Tim Neal and Callum Frazier. So those guys will be the big hitters here at Nut Hampstead. Okay, and um, what kind of um, emotions were you experiencing? Uh, oh, wow, they'll be nervous, mega really? nervous, yeah. 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 I mean, when I, when I shot this championship a couple of years ago, it's, it's, it's terrifying, it's nerve wracking. You'd like to think you'd be just as nervous for this as you would be for the Olympics, but uh, that's, the, that's, that's the love, that's, that's why we all do it, we all love it, uh, and uh, nerves is a part of it. So yeah, so nerves, beginning of the day, and then I think you'll settle into it by about lunchtime, and um, I suppose the rest is history. Not only are there past Schools Challenge shooters, but current ones as well. This year's Novice Schools Challenge winner, Will Ford, is shooting his first major competition. It's uh, like the second time I've ever shot it, but I um, thought I'd do a competition just to see what it's like. And how are you feeling about it? Nervous, because there's quite a lot of good shots going. Like, I think uh, Pete, Wil Pete Wilson's going and stuff like that. Are you excited to see him? Yeah, yeah. Hope you bring off your Definitely. <laughs> the Nut Hampstead Ground offers a fantastic oh. venue for today's Grand Prix. The ground is owned by the Barker family. Martin Barker oh, set up the ground in 1987, but he does not take all the credit. Today, his son Ed is in charge of telling the shooters where to be and what they are shooting. Today we have behind me the British Double Trap Grand Prix, and also that counts as a selection shoot to the home nations for the Commonwealth Games and that will then be pushed forward into next season where they have to go on and shoot two more shoots at other grounds around the country. And are we expecting some big names here? We have currently got two gold medalists here today. Um, one's actually coaching, the other's come along to shoot. So it's a world-class field and a lot of GB team members. Fantastic. Many shooters started from an early age. Charlotte Kerwood started at 12 and has been shooting ever since. I first started off at my parents' ground, we've got a sporting ground, my dad taught me how to shoot and then I got involved in double trap through a scholarship um, to train with the British team and I went for the Commonwealth Games in Manchester at 15 which I won and then it kind of snowballed from there really, I've been in the team ever since and yeah I've been shooting for like 15 years. <laughs> and uh, how's today go? Yeah, it's not gone too bad. Um, I haven't shot this in a long time. This is kind of what I started out on um, and I've really enjoyed it today. And I think I may have just won the ladies, maybe. So, uh, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and do you find there's a lot of pressure? Um, not really so much today. I mean, I've been doing this now for nearly 15 years, so I'm kind of one of the old guys at it now. So, yeah, I've just been really enjoying it today. 
The competition is down to the final six. They'll be shooting it out in a flash final to finish with a bang. The shooters will be feeling the pressure and have to keep the nerves in check. Matt French will be one of those shooters. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite intense. Obviously, uh, people train hard for a lot of years for these events and uh, you don't get many chances to qualify for the team each year. So it's very much on the day. So you get a lot of, uh, a lot of pressure for, for that one shoot. Um, so there's a, a lot of trying to control your nerves and uh, say, not let the pressure affect your normal game. And uh, are you expecting anyone uh, in particular to do really well? Uh, other than myself. <laughs> yeah. um, you tend to find that uh, as time goes on, you get to see the same people over and over again. Very rarely do you get somebody that comes out of the blue um, and beats the established top order. Uh, it's generally a, a slower progression as juniors and new faces come up, it takes two or three years generally from when people come in to start to break into that top section. Places for gold and silver are decided by a final shoot-off. It is between Matt French and previous Commonwealth gold medalist Steve Walton. So here we have on peg two, Stephen Walton and peg three, Matthew French. This will decide the British title for double trap men. Steve Walton will shoot first, shooting a pair. Matt French will shoot second, shooting a pair. Then they'll change. Uh. They'll shoot 15 pairs, and at the moment, they're one pair apiece. Uh. They're shooting with very different guns. Matthew, nearest to us, is shooting with a, a high-ribbed MX2005 Parazzi. That's a 25 mil high-rib. While Stephen is using a MK38 Maruku flat-rib. There's a loss there for Stephen. And Matthew hits the pair. They've both got quite different styles. You'll be able to notice that Stephen moves his gun to the first target just slightly, whilst Matt, where he can, will steal gun, which means he shoots the first target with his left eye and the second with his right. Well. A good pair there from Stephen. Uh. There's a loss there for Matt. Well. Good pair. So Matt was one. He's done it. He missed his last target, but he's taken the title. Matt French wins. Slight delay there, but fantastic result. Many, many congratulations to them both. Matt French takes the gold. In the juniors, Pete Student James has shot his way to first place. Yeah, it was very, very close towards the end. I think I only won the junior category, but I won target, who by Gareth, who was only one target behind me. So very, very, very close competition. Steve nearly had it, so what stopped him from keeping his lead? I think every athlete comes here to win really, so, <laughs> but coming second to Matt French, really nice guy and he's worked really hard and worked shot really well, so yeah, really, really, really pleased. It has been a successful day for Matt. Yeah, over the moon, fantastic. Uh, it's been a pretty good year for me already and uh, had some good results abroad and uh, this is the final shoot of the season for me, so uh, nice to finish on a high. And now we have the Schools Challenge news. Amber Hill is now the youngest shooter ever to win a world record. Competing in Peru, she equalled the ladies' skeet world record with 74x75, then came fifth in the finals. Amber started shooting through the Schools Challenge programme. Meanwhile, Schools Challenge Academy member Jess Allen has won the Basque Ladies 410 Championships. A state school in the south of England has attracted praise from shooting organisations for taking kids aged between 8 and 11 to a clay ground to try shooting. Head teacher at West Rise Junior School in Eastbourne, Mike Fairclough, said the day's shooting in July, which was organised by Basque, helped educate children about the food chain and instilled skills such as self-discipline and commitment to a task. 
London 2012 Olympic double trap gold medalist Peter Wilson has been accused of illegal whale hunting. He was travelling to the World Championships in Peru to coach British junior James Dedman. Peruvian customs officers at Lima Airport saw James's shotgun and immediately detained Peter and James for being illegal whale hunters. Despite this, James did well in this, his first double trap men's junior event, reaching third place at one stage but losing that place to Russia's Kirill Fakiev. Winner is the USA's Ian Rupert. The school's Challenge Winter Series competitions get underway in October. Held at the Oxford Gun Company, there are £3,000 worth of prizes for under-21s. Headline sponsors are Bowman, Sealand and Edgar Brothers. Are you in Oxfordshire or Buckinghamshire on the 28th of September? The Oxford Gun Company Open Day has now become a mini game fair. There will be stands, displays, activities, free entry, ample parking and refreshment throughout the day. Visit oxfordgumcompany.co.uk Fancy a day's game shooting? The ultimate school's challenge of the year, the game day, is back at Kirtlington Park in Oxfordshire on the 17th and 18th of December. It's a great value opportunity for under-21s to learn about pheasant shooting, just £299 for two days. Call David Florent for more details on 01844 238 308. Now it's Young Shots around the UK. Here is Schools Challenge Academy member Jack Brearley at the Midland Game Fair. Schools Challenge regular Connor Gorsuch pipped Jack to win the Sporting Gun Junior Clubman competition. And here is Ryan Howsam at Pinewood Shooting Ground in Blyton, Lincolnshire. Now let's join the action at the Team GB Selection Shoot. Want to shoot for Great Britain? You need to come to a competition like this. The Double Trap British Grand Prix doubles up as the selection shoot for the Team GB Commonwealth and Olympic Games. Matt French is both a competitor and an organiser. Today's competition is the Great Britain Team Selection Shoot, which also doubles up as the Commonwealth Games selection uh, for the England team for men and ladies. Uh, and this will qualify people for next, next season's Great Britain squad. The Great Britain squad for men is six, and uh, from that six people, three people travel out to each international to represent Great Britain. A lot of it's based purely on scores. Uh, there'll be a series of selection shoots each year and uh, we work on a ranking system. So um, we work on the top six come the end of the year, will be your, your best shooters. And, uh, and that is it basically, it's, it's the scores to count. Best shooters get to the top and go to shoot for Great Britain. Alongside Matt are famous faces from the world of shooting, including Richard Folds, who makes a late appearance after secretly oh. being entered by his other half, Tania. The top three from today's competition will make up Team GB's double trap entry to the 2014 Whoa. Commonwealth Whoa. Games in Glasgow. It is also one of the selection shoots for the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Uh, from, from my perspective, coaching James, I'm really, really pleased. He, he won the junior title by a couple and uh, to Gareth, uh, and who's shooting really, really well, by the way, as, as are a number of the juniors, and it's been really, really quite tense, so it's been great. Charlotte won, won the ladies. Again, that was a close-fought affair, and that's, that's really, really important. This is all, all selection for the Commonwealth Games next year uh, uh, between the, the ladies and the men's. So, as I said, Matthew French picked that one in the seniors, and, um, yeah, it was just a, a fantastic event. That was Schools Challenge TV. I hope you enjoyed this programme. For more information, please follow the links on the screen.